Are you ready, Cindy? Are you ready for this? Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Today I decided that I would introduce you to one of my best friends, and I think I would do the free friend tag to introduce her. So I'm gonna be talking to you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my dog. Cindy. Basically, the furry friend tag is where you answer a couple questions on your furry friend who's my dog, and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so first question. What is your pet's name? Her name is Cindy, but like, it's spelled with an I at the end, so it's like C-I-N-D-I. -I. Normally, people spell it with a Y at the end, but for some reason, we were like really little, and we decided we didn't want that, and we spelled it with an I instead. Oh, and fun story about her name. Basically, when we got her, we got her from like this breeder place, and they had called her Cinderella. She was born last, and thought she was really tiny and stuff, so, but then she was also really cute so they decided to call her Cinderella because yeah and we were like we don't really want her to be called Cinderella so we shortened it and called her Cindy so that's her name now what kind of pet is it and what breed she's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and I'm pretty sure that has something to do with King Charles like they were bred for King Charles or something I don't know like he also had one of these types of breed dog so I guess she's royalty right Third question, how long have you had your pet friend? We've had her since, I think, 2009. We got her in 2009. How old was I? I was eight years old, I think, when I got her. Fourth question, how old is your pet? She is eight years old, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, eight years old. She's gonna turn nine in May, like on May 24th or something like that. So yeah, she's getting kind of old, but she still acts like a puppy. Like, look at her. How did you get your pet? So basically, I was begging my parents for ages to get a dog because like we had fish, but like fish aren't really. I love them, but you can't really do anything with fish. So we wanted a dog because we've always wanted a dog forever and our dad said no, but our mom like kind of convinced him to get her. So then we went to this breeder place like in the middle of nowhere. I think it was like this farm. It was kind of sketchy because it was basically just the house full of Cavalier King Charles Spaniels and they were like crazy. It was like a crazy cat lady, but for dogs. It was kind of weird, but yeah. We looked at all the puppies and yeah, we just chose Cindy because we loved her the most. And we kind of wanted a sister because we're like three brothers, so we kind of needed a sister to balance things out. What are you doing, Cindy? Cindy, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? She'll always cry whenever we leave the house or everywhere we go. We take her somewhere, we put her in the car. Like, she used to always cry when we would go on road trips. And she'd just cry in the car like, where are you taking me? Please don't leave me. And then every time we get out of the car, she just cries non-stop for like an hour until she randomly stops. And it's kind of annoying when she's just crying the whole time, but I guess that means she loves us, right? Also, when we first got her, she ran away like two times. She would jump over this huge fence that we had, and she somehow jumped over it right after this pet trainer left that we had for her. Luckily, he found her, but she was crazy. Now she's kind of lazy, doesn't really do much. As you can see, she's been like just sitting here the whole time. <laughs> Sydney, are you gonna do something? Like, say hi. Hi, Sydney. Say hi. <laughs> I love her so much. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? I kind of see her as like our sister. She, we love her so much. Normally at night she like comes and sleeps next to me in my bed, like on my pillow, which can kind of be annoying sometimes because sometimes she'll sleep on my side of the bed and I'm just like, Cindy, no. Or she'll sleep right in the middle of the bed and she won't even let me sleep. I don't know, what else do you do, Cindy, huh? I don't know what I would do if I didn't have her in my life. She's always been here for me whenever I've moved houses or schools, and yeah. I kind of hope she also loves me. I think she does. Well, I hope she does. She only loves me when I have food, don't you? Last question. What are some nicknames you have for your pet? When I was really little, I would call her Angel, because I kind of wanted to call her Angel when we first got her. But then I kind of like got used to Cindy, and I really liked the name. Right now, we kind of have this nickname for her, where her name's Cindy Luli. I don't know where that came from or why we did that. So that's kind of like her middle name. I guess Cindy Lily Kroll. Cindy. Cindy Lily. Cindy. Say hi to the camera. That's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you liked it. Make sure to press the thumbs up if you did. Cindy, your hair's in my mouth. So make sure to press the thumbs up button if you liked it. And share this with a friend if you really liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and say bye, Cindy. Bye. Wait, do you think we can do like the outro thing? Just a dream You were out of fighting All the things I could leave My god Cindy your hair got all over me Cindy I forgot to say guys she sheds a ton like literally look at this 
Look at that. Oh my god, Cindy. Cindy. What do you want, Cindy? What do you want? <laughs> oh my god, I just tripped on my tripod. Cindy. What do you want? What? Where are we going? Where are you? Wanna go outside? Come on! Come on! Come on! Can you roll over? Come on! No? 